I'm Laura Alcorn and this is the Human Pollination Project and I'm here showing um, the tools that I created that allow humans to pollinate like a honeybee. I started making this work out of a concern uh, over the collapse of the honeybees. It started about five years ago and it was dubbed um, Colony Collapse Disorder and essentially there was a plight of the honeybee and so I became concerned as to what would happen if they were all to die off and what would we be left with in terms of our food supply knowing that about 90 crops are um, pollinated by honeybees so a third of our food supply essentially all the the color that you see on your plate would be removed. It's very concerning and I don't know that there's a solution in place and that's sort of why I wanted to talk about this work is is it um, something that we do need to um, create an artificial bee? I uh, came up with this idea to actually create tools so that people could you know assume the role of the honeybee and it's a little bit tongue-in-cheek in that people really don't want to do this it's very laborious and very tedious so these tool sets are actually modeled after um, a type of adornment called a chatelaine and that is um, a, a, essentially a tool belt that was worn at the hip in the Victorian era by by women who were trying to keep up the household you um, use this pair of tweezers to go ahead and pluck off the little anther so that you can then scrape um, all the pollen grains off with your finger scraper and then once you've scraped all of it you want to leave it to dry for um, a day to two days and then you want to keep it in this airtight container and you have up to um, I believe a day to use that prepared pollen and then you would use this uh, six-armed applicator to mimic the fuzzy body of the bee and so that you can reapplicate uh, the flowers or the blossoms on a tree. People are pollinating and have been pollinating by hand for a number of years, but it's, it's thinking about it at scale and, and the vastness of what that would require. So we need to start making some changes or, or, or hopefully they'll be able to tease out the, the, the factors that are causing these collapses and, and, and find uh, ways to improve there.